hi friends in this video we will start with the first concept that is nothing but what we can say is it is typescript types so in the previous video we have seen the compiled javascript code how the typescript will compile the typescript code into the javascript we have seen right and in this video we will start with the first concept typescript types so types data types is nothing but so whatever the javascript supports the data types the typescript also supports those data types in addition to those types it will the typescript supports additional ty types that we will discuss later so first what are the types that the javascript and the typescript supports let's see the first type what we can say is it's a number okay you are you already you, you people already know about this number right so this number type is the first type what it will support so javascript also uh, supports this one ja javascript and also typescript supports this both the both 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 the language supports this type so number means so in all the programming languages you will be having for the number also you will be having the differentiation of the types that is nothing but what you can say is float double integer and these all things you will be having right so but in the javascript you will be having only one type that is number so that means you will be having 1 1.5 minus 10 these all comes under the types only okay this all comes under the number only so that means so all the integers and also the floating point numbers whatever the things related to the numbers comes under the number data type okay so typescript also takes that one as the number only so in the typescript it doesn't have any other data other data types other than the number so it will not take 1.5 as the floating point or something like that so it will take same javascript what it takes as a number typescript also takes it as a number so okay this is the first data type what you can have and another one what you will be having is same thing string okay so this one also both javascript and the typescript supports so string is nothing but what you can see is the any string you, you, you will be representing with the single quotes double quotes and also the back ticks you have seen so that is nothing but what you can see is template literals so we have seen it in the es6 course in the uh, previous playlist, playlist we have seen the complete es6 course we have seen the template literals so if you don't see means you can see that one in the es6 and typescript also supports these three types of things double quotes single quotes so how you can write is hi this is this type you will, it will accept and this one it will accept and also back tick it will accept the back tick okay so using the back ticks these are template literals so, so the javascript and typescript both the things it will accept and another one commonly call it as boolean okay so boolean is nothing but true and false true or false this one is also both javascript and the typescript both of them supports okay so this one also javascript and our typescript both of the both of the languages supports the boolean boolean thing so these are the types which both javascript and the typescript supports and we will see other uh, data types other, other data types first we will see this one so what are the data uh, how how we can represent this type of data types in the typescript so here this is my project so this is my uh, our project what i will be doing all the code here so here i have uh, done so small uh, configuration using npm init so i have installed one light server light server so that local host we will be get setting up the local host here so you can uh, install live light server npm install so hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev light server you can install and you can uh, write in the start light hyphen surfer so that if you run here so if you run here light light hyphen server okay if you write here light hyphen server and you will be able to execute the code sorry if you write here npm run start okay you will be able to uh, uh, you will be able to make uh, localhost on and you will be able to see the output here localhost 300 same th same thing what we have checked the previously and here i will be using another another integrated terminal this one nothing but for compiling the typescript file i will be using this one so this is my normal setup what i will be having and i will be moving it down little bit down here okay and now we will see so this is the basic setup okay now i will be doing the main.ts file so now let's write the uh, simple thing what we have run previously so function i will be adding i will be having two things number one and number two what we have discussed in the previous thing so return number i will be adding number one plus number two you will be having one function so i will take one variable constant 
n1 is equal to 1.2 I will take and constant n2 is equal to 4 I will take okay and I will take it in result constant result is equal to add of n1 comma n2 so I will try to print the result okay this one is the basic code what we have run previously only we have seen so I will let, let me try to compile the code so if I try to compile this code it, it takes some time so now I compile this code automatically this one will be refreshed so if I try to execute this one if I check the console here and I will be able to get output as 5.2 right so that one is the normal it's correct behavior only so I am getting the output as I am getting the output as 5.2 so that means 1.2 plus 4 is nothing but 5.2 now what I will try to do is I will try to convert it into the string okay when I convert it into the string and I compile this one now if I try to check the output here what I will be getting is so if I try to refresh it here I will be getting something like 1.24 that means it is telling it is instead of uh, adding or uh, doing the mathematical logic of two numbers it is simply concatenating the strings so this type of behavior in javascript we can expect without any errors or anything we will be getting the output but the expected behavior is not like that so in the typescript as we have discussed previously we can simply uh, solve this type of problems using the typescript types so we will be explicitly mentioning here so this fun this method should accept only number so we have discussed the types right number type so we can mention colon number like this so to explicitly what type of what type of arguments this uh, add method is accepting we can explicitly explicitly mention in the function argument so that the function add will take only the arguments whichever is mentioned so here if you see here i am able to get an error here so if i move it here i will be able to uh, argument of one point is not assignable of timer so this type of runtime errors you will be able to get so that this type of things when your code is very much bigger and all those things you will be not able to solve this type of problems for example uh, you know that this function accepts only the numbers but in the javascript if it uh, it can take uh, both the strings and also the numbers so that could be the scenario what would happen is you cannot debug the code where the code is getting wrong when uh, when the code is so much of big code you will be having okay so this is the reason so when you write the typescript code so you will you are explicitly mentioning the type of the variable arguments so that the use the programmer or any developer who is using this method will ex he has to pass explicitly those type of numbers only that means the uh, the arguments those are it's accepting only the numbers so he has to send only the number data type okay now here 1.2 i'm having so still if i try to compile this code I will be able to get an output here okay if you check here if I check here oh sorry if I check here the output I will be able to get the error here it's, st it's still compiling but we will be getting an error here uh, for example one second yeah uh, we forgot to save the file okay we saved the file now we will try to execute the output again now when we try to execute this one now we will get an error here so telling that n1 so we can also get the error in the while compiling the typescript code also so this is the benefit of writing the typescript code uh, rather than the javascript code so in javascript we will be not getting any errors so the code will be executed but we will not get the expected behavior output we will be not getting but the typescript we can explicitly mention the type so that we will be getting minimum number of errors or the minimum number of runtime errors these are things you will be getting minimum minimal things so here what i can do is i can remove this one so that the code will execute correctly now if i try to compile the code you will be not getting any error okay now if i try to check the output if i try to check the output i will be getting 5.2 so this is the how the types uh, types thing work in the TypeScript and this is how for the methods you can pass the types uh, you can mention the type so that the method can accept only those type of things okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you